dumb once or twice in my life. <laughs> Let's go! We got Tess in the house. We got Popper. We got Mal McWill in the building. Woo, woo, woo. Let's go! Someone give me a sub for the number one gifter badge. Cannot help you with that. Yeah, the, the computer won't let us gift while we're doing I'm the sorry show. about that. I see what you're up to there. Let's go. We are in here. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in, man. Okay, so uh, we are going to start with some good news and some bad news. Good news. We we're got, live. We're live. We had a freaking great show for you guys. Bad news. Kevin's going to be out of town next week. This will be the last podcast before the holidays. I am sorry. It's the last one of 2021. That's right. Uh, Kevin is going out of town. He's going to see the folks. I know there's nothing we can do about it, but we're not going to give him a hard time about Boo. it. Hey, 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 hey. We're not going to give that him one a, guy. We're not going to give him a hard time. Boo. Relax about it. <laughs> That is not very snug. The crowd is actually a little bit wound up today. Can, can we sit down in the back? Uh, oh, Jesus. Sorry, people are throwing stuff today, guys. Sorry about that. crowd is really wound up. Getting a little wild out there. But I love it. I love the excitement. We're going to miss you. That is not very snug. No. It is the dangers of having a live audience. Right. But you also, never know exactly what's going to happen. You never know. But uh, we're willing to risk it because there's so many people here that we the like. The positives just outweigh the negatives. This guy doesn't have a shirt on. That lady doesn't have pants on. And I accept both of them as the way they are. But you know together, they have one outfit on. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Well, that does not work in your popper. I fire a bunch. Apologize for that. We'll work on some commands for you. All right. I know, dude. What are you gonna do? I I know who you are, dude. I know you're the snug uh, UK youth. I know who you are, brother. Yeah, Malk, Malk's a moderator. Can he do things? I think this is one of those things where he sits and relaxes. But maybe at some point we're gonna have to pay him a couple uh, buffalo nickels to get them back to work. <laughs> hey, uh, all right. So, guys, today we've got some fun. Uh, we got some fun little stuff today. I'm gonna go through what we're gonna do today. We are going to. Go through some funny stories. Love these great stories. Robert, thank you for the biddies, man. You've been popping off, and I really appreciate that, man. Let's freaking go. Uh, we're, we got some good stories for you guys we're going to start off with. Um, we have been, for the show, we've been actively trying candy canes. For the show. Strictly for the show, we have been trying a, we're, just a... We're usually anti-candy cane. But. Very, <laughs> very anti-candy cane apartment. We have been actively trying... A just a unbelievably wide variety of candy canes, a plethora, that, if you will, a cornucopia of candy canes, folks. Uh, and we a candy copia, a candy copia. Hey, all right, copyright that joint. Uh, <laughs> copyright. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and give you guys our our top cedars, and then today we also have three flavors that we have not tried that are the most scary. Yeah. Um, we're risking our lives, for, so you don't have to. Some the, the final two are should not be made in the candy cane form. Not that we think, but we are going to let you guys decide on that, and we're going to let you know what we think of it. Then we got some great snug files for you guys today. We have got some alien stories whew, that are just going to blow your tits clean off. So hold, to strap your tits down to your chest, okay? If you have a bra on, latch it one more latch today, okay? Uh, and then we have some great in and out for you guys, and in the middle of all that, Lamb's going to catch us off guard, and whenever he feels it's pertinent, he's going to slam in some Christmas movie trivia, okay? So we're not going to do all in one section. Whenever Lamb feels excited about a, 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 a question, he's going to jam it into the podcast, and you guys are going to answer. All right. First question. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> all right, let's do it. Start off a pretty easy one. All right. What are the name of the robbers in Home Alone? What is their... Name of their oh of their group of their group okay so I know the name of their group hands down easy question there I do know that one uh, I was yeah. actually trying to think of their re their the names real names in yeah. the movie yeah I know we got Marv yeah so Marv is the first name that came to my mind but the other one is actually escaping me now uh Harry and Marv I shouldn't have looked okay chat and they are the Wet Bandits all right. <laughs> Dang, that was fast. I just watched it like two days ago. Okay, yeah. Harry, I wait. Like I said, we started out easy. Just, with, get, just get this show going. Mal, it's literally just to make you feel good, okay? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, uh, we pump you up. We keep the questions pretty basic because nah. we want you all to feel good. Harry, I don't answer. think I would have gone. I actually probably would have yeah. sit here for Harvey. Harvey. <laughs> I don't know if I would have got Harry <laughs> right away. Uh, so, okay, so let's get into our first story. We always like to start positive, and then we will. Uh, we shall get to the jokes in a little bit here. So the first story of the day, um, me and Lamb, why the hell are you dressed like a chicken, Harry? Why the hell did you take your shoes off? Um, 
First story of the day, not a joke, very serious story, and we don't do very serious stories very often, but we both, it's actually, but me and uh, Lamb both clipped this for the show, um, because when this came out, Logic, when he did his album, uh, it was titled this, correct? Or a song was titled this? The song, this? Was, the song titled. was titled this, but I don't know what the actual album was. The song was titled, uh, literally the phone number for the Suicide Hotline, and they have now done a study, the British Medical Journey Journal, um, and they said that that song led to a rise in calls to the helpline, while the USA su- U.S. suicides also fell during the same period. Um, I think it's great for a, just a variety of reasons, but one of the, my favorite things about it is just the simplicity of the fact that when you're young, um, especially if you're somebody that aspires to be an artist of any kind, you, you know, the phrase is, I want to change the world, I want to do something great. Uh, rarely is that actually accomplished. This guy is set out to do something, in my opinion, that could have got... A lot of backlash or something. It just it seems almost eh, not hacky, but it seems like oh, I'm just doing this for like you know to pull people or get views yeah. or you know whatever. Look what I did. Look what I did. Pat myself on the back. But actually, it ended up uh, legitimately helping uh, a noticeable increase. They said uh, in the amount of people that were calling, in the uh, the numbers dramatically dropped, all because he titled a song after the suicide helpline. I thought that was a really cool story. Well. I know this is a thing. Like, if you needed to call the police, mm-hmm. but the non-emergency police, do you know what number to call? I have no idea. Exactly. Right. I know 911. Like, you, if you have the number, like, if you know the number, it just makes it so much easier 100%. to immediately go for it than to be like, oh, you know what? I'm going to look this up. I'm going to find this. And then just the idea of knowing it is such a helpful thing. Not only that, I was going to say, if you're somebody that's having a rough time, this sounds crazy. You might not even know this thing even exists. So for somebody like you that you look up to, they not only inform you and say to you, hey, this is an option if you're having a rough month or having a rough year, you can call this number. But not only that, it's somebody that you already look up to anyway, and they're telling you it's okay to call this number. They're not going to judge you. They're actually promoting it. I think that is the same way. That's the same idea as LeBron James coming across your TV and say, I drink Sprite. This guy is saying... This is something that I believe in. Do not feel silly about calling it. I think that alone gives people the strength to do it sometimes. Love it. Love it. Positive story. Speaking of things I love. (laughs) Dr. Havoc with the raid. Let's go, baby. How was Red Dead Redemption, baby? I saw you playing. I hope it was wonderful. Uh, And then we just got a second raid right behind the beautiful Dr. Havoc is the beautiful Ruthless Space. Bang, bang. (laughs) Thank you, guys. Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you so much for that raid. Do we get another raid? I don't know. Zeus uh, is coming going here. In, going for a third. Yeah. Three in a row. Is anybody else live here? Uh, <laughs> Come on. Back to back raid. Zeus is in here. Ruthless is in here. Havoc is in here. We got all sorts of beautiful people. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We just went over the... 900. We went over the 900 person mark. Oh. Weird. Weird. That is yeah. weird. Let's yeah. talk. Let's segue into that. Yeah. Ah, well, all right. Let's do that. All right. Demon, welcome in. What is going on? Red Dead was always fun. It is fun, man. And you're a fun guy. So uh, keep it up, Zeus. I hope the stream was fun. Ruthless, how was the stream? I hope it was fun. Thank you guys for trusting your viewers here with a podcast. If you guys are new to the channel uh, and you are from Havoc, Ruthless, or Zeus's stream, my name is Nick. I'm Kevin. And we are Snug Stories. We like to do every sorts of goofy, fun story, and we like to keep it positive. We start every single show with two positive stories, and then we get into actual ridiculous nonsense, and we're going to have some fun today, okay? Uh, Whoa! a 10 bomb everybody that's ever been in the show just got a freaking <laughs> subscription uh squirrel nickflix tv just got one rare chrismo for show sky high demon kennedy flow ruthless luna everybody say thank you to a fucking go high five to you Zeus. Right back to you. Loose. Zeus, I fucking Zeus love you. Zeus is loose. Zeus is loose. I freaking love you, baby. Thank you so much for the unbelievable 10 bomb. That's actually kind of nutty. And I, you can actually hear the audience screaming. Oh, my goodness. I know, except Jess. Jess is the only one in here that said she really wanted an, uh, uh, a subscription. It's the only one that didn't get one. 
That's actually kind of a ridiculously sad. <laughs> There's like a one in three chance you get one. I know. That's actually, Whoa, I'm Dr. Sorry. Havoc, um, drop them bitties. Zeus is loose, chat. Can we get some hashtags, Zeus is loose? Dr. Havoc with uh, 200 bitties as well. Let's go, baby. Um, oh, Malk Wilson, gift and gen- hey, queen a sub. You got a sub after all, queen. And we're on a hype train, and we haven't even really covered anything yet. So <laughs> let's freaking go. Thank you, Malk, for gifting queen one. Queen, You're now you're back in. Zeus has got his number one. He's got his moderator badge. Uh, Queen has got herself a subscription. I hope everybody's having a great day. Thank you guys for absolutely starting this with a hype train. I'm actually kind of blown away. Um, Genuinely blown away. So, the CEO. Let's get into it. Second story of the day. He, uh, you might have heard of this guy. He uh, (laughs) had a Zoom call with 900 employees and basically goes, this is kind of tough. Okay, sorry to cut you off again. Popper with biddies and Ruthless right behind it with 200 more. Let's go. (laughs) And Popper and more. We're at level four, Chad. We're about to leap beat level four. Can we do it? (laughs) You guys are great. Popper's still popping off. All right, so Lamb, carry on. So guy goes on a Zoom call, 900 employees on the Zoom call. He's like, this is really tough for me and my company. But uh, everybody on the Zoom call, you're fired. Also, so he he sends an email out and says, I need 900 people to be on a Zoom call. It'll only take a couple minutes. He brings all of them on and fires them. Um, what, what, what the hell is that? We can't even cover anything. <laughs> Zeus is determined to break the podcast, and I'm all about it, baby. Let's go. Ruthless, more biddies. Ruthless, more biddies. Popper, more biddies. And Zeus just went insane. <laughs> He went insane! Oh. Let's it's out of go. control. <laughs> Level 5 hype train at 105%. I can't believe John Cena said that was better. Hey, don't tell us everything. Uh, holy freaking hell, Zeus. Now, let's see. We got Steph got one. Papa got one. Mimi, Superman, Chaos, Draco, Assassin, Lucky, and Nay. Ah, let's go, Popper. Let's go, dude. Zeus, thank you so much, dude. I, I fucking love you, bro. Out we, of control. We you are it. literally losing it, and we are all here for it, and I very much appreciate it, man. Me and Lamb definitely put some work into this, and we are very much appreciative, man. Thank you guys for the freaking support. Let's jump. No spoilers. 106% on a level 5 hype train. Can we get some more hashtag Zeus is loose in the chat? Can we at least get three or four of Zeus is loose? Because the guy is literally going crazy. One more round of applause. Thank you so fucking much. That was really kind, guys. Really kind. We don't expect something like that to start the show. So very, very much thank you, guys. That was really cool. Um, not that it has to stop, but we're going to try and go here. Yeah, we're going to try and actually give you guys something that you showed up for. We're trying to give you something, yes. Yeah. So again, CEO reaches out. Sends everybody an email. Thank you guys for that, Zeus is loose. Sends an email to all his employees. Let's them know they have a two-minute meeting he needs to tune in for. They tune in. And what does the schmuck do? He fires every single one of them uh, in 30 seconds and then hangs up the Zoom call. Mortifying way to get fired. Um, Oddly, most people that heard about this weren't a fan of how he did it. Yeah, most people were not a fan that he just decided that he was going to fire all 910 seconds and keep it moving. The the other thing that people bothered bother people the most about it was it was simply a uh, bottom line, uh, top level people make more money if they do it this way. The company was not in some kind of serious detriment. They weren't in some serious problem. This was a schmucky move by a schmucky guy. Zeus with more biddies. Let's go, dude. Yeah, very, very messed up. However, we like to start positive here, Jess. So what actually happened, which was brilliant... The people that are around him, as you know, sometimes CEO has a lot of power, but that doesn't mean they have all the The board, if you will. The board came up together and said, you know what? This guy's a piece of shit. And uh, (laughs) they have since... (laughs) This guy. (laughs) They have since fired his ass for that. Zeus with more biddies, let's go. Uh, They have since fired him. Now, all that I ask is that if they were going to fire him, I just wanted them to... Uh, send an email to all 900 people, put them back on the same Zoom call, bring him in as 901, and then fire his ass in front of all those people, and then they can... Yeah! That would make me really happy. Yeah, but they're still fired. (laughs) Well... Agreed. But you're still but you're still fired, but you there's at least a silver lining here. You you got you got fired, but you also got to watch that schmucky piece of crap that did it to you. You got to watch him get flushed down the toilet. Um, okay, the biddies are going completely insane, and I feel we're gonna do our best to to let you know what's going on, but I, it's just like 
I've, Tons of biddies flo- flying through here. Yeah, I don't know how to even say thank you for the amount of biddies, but Zeus is 100% going to break the podcast all by his damn self. Yeah. Uh, did he rehire their... I don't know. I don't think they had to... Re- they couldn't rehire the employees now. I don't think they could, unfortunately. However, I do believe because the story is so main, uh, kind of the headlines, I believe some of these people will have a better chance. Didn't they say it was second time doing it? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is the second time doing it, so he is completely a piece of schmuck. Zeus is going... I literally can't even count the biddies. It looks like there's somewhere close to 100 or 50 biddies being dropped. Let's freaking go! Ah! Love it, Zeus. Thank you, man. You guys are crazy. All right. Um, we did receive a level five hype tree emote, and L- Lamb is going to try and. Oh, you don't have chat pulled up. Uh, Over here. Okay. Drop it in there, buddy. Oh, my God. 200 more. 300 more. 400 more. What? What is happening? 500 more. What is happening? What? 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 Oh, I'm not even playing. There's I know. Just, there's just hundreds being dropped, unless he's just copying paste in the hundred symbol. But you would know he would I, never I'm do trying, that. I'm trying. <laughs> it's going so fast. I can't click on the things. Yeah, I Zeus's need to hundreds do. are going so fast. We can't even. Yeah, just sit here. Bang, Zeus! With oh my goodness, with uh, looks like a thousand more biddies. Let's go. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, dude, you're going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're dangerous for sure. They're for real. Okay, I appreciate it. All right, on to the next story. Is you're going insane. I'm going to try and get this podcast through, but I very much appreciate the biddies. <laughs> Bringing this back on the rails. Holy freaking hell. You guys are maniacs. All right. This is a story that we have covered in the past. So I want you guys to sp- I want to explain that this is a follow-up to a story. This guy, back in 2013, uh, had a hard drive in which he had a Zeus amount of money on it. He had... Uh, what I believe to be $340 million worth of Bitcoin, okay, um, on a hard drive. It was, I believe, between him and his buddy. Uh, nah, say, hey, Zeus, you're never going to bother me with the bits, dude. Uh, I just always have to stop and say thank you. I love it, man. Thank you very much, guys. Very, very, very much, man. You guys just don't know, man. Me and Lamb get very excited to do this, and having you guys even love it and being here, especially the support like that, is really freaking cool. Um... Mr. My man James Howells here, uh, 36, uh, accidentally took that hard drive that had $340 million worth of, um, uh, what did I just Bitcoins. Bitcoins, and he threw the, yeah, I know, I know, they're not, I was more being a joke, but you would never do such a thing like that in your life. He took $340 million in a hard drive of Bitcoins, and he accidentally threw it away. Oopsie. Oopsie doopsie. Uh, he took that uh, hard drive. He was cleaning out his desk or his, his. Who hasn't thrown out a gold bar or two? <laughs> right. Who hasn't? Th- who's thrown out hard drives anyway? <laughs> Let's just start with that. However, so now he is in a real predicament. He has what he believes to be now over probably five hundred million dollars worth of bitcoins in a hard drive. Probably a lot more than that. Uh, it is in a landfill. He knows exactly what landfill is in, and be. Because he has uh, seeked help, he has used satellites to identify a 200-foot square area that is probably in anywhere from, he said, uh, 5 to 15 feet underground underneath a bunch of rubbish. So he wants to go and dig that up. Um, You want to go on a treasure hunt? No. Well, unless this guy's paying me. Yes, then I do. So now what he has done, he has hired NASA— To try and help him find this. Now, let me explain. He found um, the uh, the specific NASA people that actually helped with another specific hard drive. I don't know the exact story, but years ago, a NASA hard drive uh, landed in the water, and it was underwater for like six months or something. Uh, NASA took it and was able to pull 99% of the information from the hard drive, even though it had been underwater for months. Um, So he reached out and found these exact people and said, I want your guys' help with this hard drive. I'm worried it's destroyed. And they said, as long as it is in some kind of peace, even if it's smashed and whatever, as long as it is at least intact in some way, they should be able to get that information. I just got my 100-bit badge. You're a goat, dude. I really really do appreciate it. That was really fucking cool, dude. I'm not even saying that, dude. It was really cool. Um, so he has reached out these NASA people. He has told that he will pay them a very handsome sum if he can do that. Here is where the problem uh, lies. Uh, the of all the people, the dump is actually the people that are slowing him down. The people that own the landfill or have told him no. They do not want him coming in and excavating and pulling all this crap out and looking for a hard drive. They have told him through some kind of city council, no, he is not allowed to do it. He has since offered them a quarter 
of whatever is on that hard drive. A quarter. So, like, we'll, we'll just call it $100 million. Right. Right now. Okay. Like, yeah. Call it $100 million. What the hell? You, if you're a dump, you can't be making $100 million. Yeah, right. Like, literally, bare minimum, it would be $100 million for a quarter of that hard drive. A hundred million. You could, you could close the dump down for the whole year and pay all your employees buy ten, another dump and buy and pay your employees ten times their salary and still have eighty percent of it left over. Uh, I actually can't believe they're telling him no. I genuinely cannot believe it. Um, here is their argument. Are you ready for this? This is the, one of their main arguments. Mm, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. They're saying if. He was to excavate all of that. It would probably cost in the millions of work and slowing that they would cause to do that. And they said, if he does not find it, who's going to pay those millions? All right. I Fair. Fair. He has said, I'll write it in a contract. I'll say I'll pay it if it's not taken care of. If I don't find it. So this guy has millions of dollars. Yes. He's saying no problem. I'll I got you no matter what. I got you no matter what. And then, then there's no no problem. The only thing is like if this was like if he was like a dude who had no money and he's like there, you know, maybe there's a treasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I could kind of see it. Like, like they could potentially lose $10 million or whatever. You're a crazy old man. We can't yeah. trust you. Yada, yada, yada. However, this guy is saying, I will pay you no matter what, whatever it takes. I actually can't believe it, but he is pushing as hard as he possibly can to get them to let him to excavate. I don't, dude, if I'm anywhere in the management of this dump, I am dude. I'm screaming at my boss. Yeah. What are you doing? The only thing is, are they trying to find it themselves? Yeah, what do you mean? Like the dump people. Oh, now I mm, now here's the thing though. Even if they find it though, don't you think it's somewhat traceable to him? Well, it is Bitcoin. Isn't it's that that supposed big? to be untraceable, right? Hi, we're st we're not smart enough to have this conversation. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's supposed I'm to be just, untraceable. I, that's my only other thing is like they know. They're like, yo, the dump, it's right there. They're using NASA footage and satellites to try and hunk find this thing and. I would imagine the people at the dump have a much better idea of where it could be, but I still I think the story is very very fascinating. What's up, alien? Welcome in, man. Um, love the story. We will got we we. This is the second time we've covered this. This is only an update because he has hired NASA, but we will keep you guys posted on this. We'll story. We'll keep you apprised of the situation. That's right. If there's anything uh, any more trash that services, we'll let you guys know here. All right. Speaking uh, of keeping you apprised. It's quiz time. It's quiz time. All right, here we go. Here we go. What do we got? What do we got? Second, second question of the day for the movie trivia. This is Christmas holiday movie trivia. What do you got, number two? What is the name of Santa's sleigh's engine in Elf? Mm. Santa's sleigh's mm. engine in Elf. I have only seen Elf one time. So this is not going to come to me. But I'm going to take a real stab in the dark right. here. And I'm going to wait until the chat says it. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking <laughs> yeah, very, of uh, yeah. something that might be. All right. I'm going to call it the. Uh, all right. So it's, it's his engine on his sleigh. Yeah. He has a rocket propelled sleigh because there's not enough Christmas cheer to power it on its own anymore. Okay. Not enough Christmas cheer to power it all by itself. Yeah, so we had to add a little booster rocket to it. Okay, I'm going to call it the... I'm going to call it the Nogginator. <laughs> Nogginator? I like yeah. it. I like it. I don't all know. Right. That's what I'm going with. I don't, I haven't seen, I've seen the movie one time. I'm sorry. I'm, Chad's really upset, dude. Chad's really upset. <laughs> all right. Well, if everybody's so damn upset, then what's yeah, the name? Yeah, no one wrote it in the chat. Yeah, everybody's upset, but nobody knows the, the answer. I'm not going to say the answer yet because I want to see if you put it in the chat right. Yeah. yeah, yeah how about that? How about them yeah, apples? Yeah. While we wait, <laughs> let's point at all these awesome stockings we have behind uh, us. Yeah. If you guys see, this is uh, Paul... Okay, let me take this here. Uh, we could not find Paul uh, stocking, so this says Paul E. Oh, it's weird on the screen. That is bizarre looking. Oh, so, a little too bright, but that's all right. Yeah, uh, Paul E. And then uh, we got N for Nick here. And then uh, we also have Renzo. We got a T for Tony. Tony with the T. And then we have Kevin's normal size yeah. stocking here. Yeah, in the <laughs> I just used one of my socks, so, you know, because we didn't have one, so yeah. I just threw, threw it in there. Kevin's is uh, at least 8 to 12 <laughs> times bigger than everybody's, but that does not mean 
I did. My answer. Somebody, look, everybody was talking shit, and now there's no answers in the chat. That's weird. All right, what's it's weird? It's the Kringle 3000. The Kringle 3000. <laughs> oh, all right, that's a good one, but I would, I think Nogginator is better. Uh, <laughs> the Nogginator, like 9,000, maybe. Nogginator 9,000 would have been much better. You're yeah, right. Yeah. I would have been actually close on that one. Okay. Uh, final story before we get in. No, actually, that's not the final story. Uh,. We're going to taste some candy canes here in a second if you guys have not heard. Uh, Kringle 3000. Ruthless, you were just a second behind. But yeah, I can't it's give weird. Credit. It's like after I said it, it was in the chat. Can, cannot give you credit. All right, next story here. Last week, we told you about a truck that flipped over that was carrying a buttload of money. And everybody was picking it up and filming themselves because they're idiots. This week, we got a different another, kind of dough. We got... <laughs> Okay, Lamb. Okay, way to start. Way to bring it. Here we go, <laughs> Lamb. Go ahead and uh, drop this story on him, man. So apparently, there was a truck full of thirty thousand dollars worth of gnocchi. Thirty thousand dollars worth of gnocchi was stolen from an Australian restaurant, dude. Gnocchi, let's go. <laughs> yeah, me too. I was feeling the same way about the story. It made me um, hungry. So apparently, this uh, <laughs> restaurant chain, Gnocchi Gnocchi Brothers. Um, I that, literally hate the name. I know I hate it so much. Their restaurant name is Gnocchi Gnocchi Brothers, and I feel like they're going after like the like a lawyer thing. Yeah, like Gnocchi know. Gnocchi and Johnson. Right, but I just think they missed. They kind of. Um, it's possibly the worst name they could have come up with. Wow! Wow! I'm out, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. I'm All right, I'm, I'm kidding. All right, go ahead. Wow, that was a pretty good. One. Um, so. <laughs> Uh, apparently they make it all off site cause they have like eight or nine restaurants. So they make it in one like place and then they daily drive it around and drop it off at the restaurants. Okay. So they have multiple chains and the, Oh, okay. Okay. So, they have multiple so they're chains. making a huge batches each okay, day. Okay. And then, so on the first delivery of the day, mm -hmm. uh, guys going in, come, uh, dropping off the load comes out. Truck is gone. Wow. Now we have to assume the guy who took the truck was not taken for the Neoki, right? I, I don't know. You're outside of a Gnocchi Gnocchi Brothers. That's true. What do you think's in the truck? That's true. I just hope when he left, I hope that he like squealed wheels and like some of them were falling out the back. <laughs> just they a were, trail of gnocchis. Trail of gnocchis. And for some reason, the, the, the truck runs on like pasta sauce. <laughs> <laughs> he just like burns rubber on the way. It, it burns. just smells like, yeah. like Arbiata. <laughs> he yells out the window, Pasta La Vista, baby! Like, yeah! <laughs> he just squeals out. Okay, that's what I'm hoping. Okay, anyway. Okay, yeah. So... He steals three thirty thousand dollars worth of gnocchi. Now, the the people that own it, that own this restaurant, uh, have simply said, "Keep the truck. <laughs> Can you just bring back the pasta? Yeah, treat it right. <laughs> we dump. hope so somebody's not gonna just dump all this gnocchi. Yeah. Also, gnocchi is so freaking cheap. I really would love to see what thirty thousand dollars. Like, is this like a tractor trailer's worth of gnocchi? Yes, agreed. So I, I was asking you, chat. Is what is the head what what should have the what should the headline of this article have been? Thirty thousand dollars worth of gnocchi stolen. What should the headline have been? I feel like all of these articles missed a wonderful opportunity for something punny, yeah. and I just feel like they 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 swung and they missed. Yeah, like was it uh, an inside job? Maybe an impasta. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one a lot. Uh, I like I like for me. I would like. Truck steals pasta, cost restaurant a pretty penne. Ooh, nah, that's what I'm like going. It. That's what I'm going with. All right, Chad. If you have something that I'm missing, that I want to hear about it. All right. Maybe truck stolen, uh, thieves spaghetti away. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, dude. Please, there's spaghetti away. Uh, I like uh, maybe. Uh, uh, thirty thousand dollars preposterously stolen from restaurant. No, I don't like it. No. I'm back out. Too many pastas. Okay. Um, if you guys have something better, please put it in the chat. That's what I want. How about possibly the biggest gnocchi heist ever? Oh, I like that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so the we will keep you guys up to date on this very thrilling story of the gnocchi being stolen. We really just wanted to talk about it because it was funny. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and jump on to another story that I there's actually go ahead Lamb, if you're gonna bomb me, bomb me. Yep. Before you do, all right. Let me give you let me give you the main screen here. Another Christmas Christmas movie trivia. What do you got next? What is the Grinch's dog's name? The oh, name of the dog I just of it. in the Grinch. I just thought of it. I just thought of it. I believe he yells, 
Spike. <laughs> no, wait. That's something different. Is it Spike? No, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, I think I might be thinking of something different. I might be thinking of a different Jim Carrey yelling at a different animal. I, re- I am. <laughs> I am. I thought you were thinking of Little Giants. No, no, no. He Spike. definitely. No, his, uh, his, his dog's name is. It's the most common dog name, actually. No kidding. Yeah. Mm. It's not Spot. Not Spot. It is. Uh. uh Man, I'm really blanking. I don't think I'm going to get this question right. Does Jack got it? Yeah. Damn it. Ili- uh, Alien got it. Uh, damn, I really don't know. What is it? It's Max. Max. Oh, no. All right, Alien. <laughs> Mama Styles, welcome in. It was Max. Dang it. Okay, good one. All right. Next story here, guys. This story, this story is just brilliant. It's just brilliant. All right. So. In Missouri, there's a 48-year-old lady. I had a dog named Max. It's number one. I uh, In Missouri, there's a 48-year-old mom who decided that she wanted to, I guess, relive the college dream. The old glory days. The old glory days. Or she, maybe she didn't have any glory days and she yeah. wanted to have some glory days. So she stole her 22-year-old daughter's identity. She got financial aid. And she attended college for two years as a 40-year-old lady Pretending to be 22 years old. I did not know this was for two years. I thought that was like this semester. No, no, no. <laughs> this two story. years this lady went about her life as a 22-year-old. Uh, the getaway driver uh, was uh, pasta than a speeding bullet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they get away pasta, then you can say Jack Robinson. They, yeah, dude, I like I like the pasta puns. Thank you. Thank you for participating. Why would anybody do that? I appreciate that. Too. Why wouldn't around. anybody do that? Yeah, why wouldn't you want to go back to college and pretend you're going to be 22 years old? Now, now, if you went back to college and you had the opportunity to just be like, I'm going to be 22. Sounds or great. tell people I'm 22. Would you say, would you, and no, and we're not talking this financial aid, all this other stuff. Yeah. Other than, like, everything's the same other than your age. You're saying if I get away with it, would yeah. I do it? Sounds fun. I think it's a little more fun. It honestly. sounds really fun. I I don't. Yeah, I like the idea. I, I like to be the old guy. Yeah, I like the I like the zest. Okay, now here's I'm gonna put you on main screen because I want you to pull up the Times article because unless this has a picture because I don't think this one does of the lady. Yeah, I don't think this one does. Oh, there she is. Okay, going back to the story. So this is the lady. Uh, this is the lady. She has told everybody that she is 22 years old. She's got cat ears on. Obviously. She's got she's cat 22. ears. She's very young. You can see it in her youthful. Very youthful. She's 48. She has told everybody for two years, and people not only believe it, not only this is the, this is the most shocking part, she has had a boyfriend for quite some time who fully believed that she was 22 years old. I forgot that we've been wearing masks for a while. That's true. The mask definitely helps her game out a yeah. little bit. Uh, so we, I wanted to know. You just uh, need a youthful forehead. Yeah, that's right. I wanted to know from you, Chet. What's some things that she could have done throughout her two years that maybe were red red flags for her her teachers or friends that maybe gave away her age? I was thinking maybe she's like complimenting the professor's outfits. That's they, true. Like she really like I like your style. Any kind of Nixon reference would be great, you know. <laughs> yeah. she said, well, when Nixon was president, we're like, what? Whoa, 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 Wait, whoa. What did Samantha just say? <laughs> 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 we playing checkers. She playing chess. <laughs> She is, dude. She's back in the game. Now, I'm going to be honest. Is there anybody that's going to be more upset than the boyfriend? It doesn't really affect me in any way, shape, or form if you lie about your age. Right. Unless you're the unless boyfriend. I'm, yeah. Unless, unless you're the boyfriend. boyfriend. I think the boyfriend kind of got, kind of got, he he got kind of a raw deal out of that. Um, so, I'm wondering, Lamb said to me, maybe her playlist, maybe her song playlist at a party gave it away. You know, you were like, yo, uh, what's this lady's name? Laura. Laura's playlist is a little old, right? But then I said, I don't know, old music's kind of coming back sometimes. People could just think she's trendy, you know yeah, what I mean? She's bringing it back. with it. So apparently she knows like a bunch of phone numbers. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that's so funny. She's like, yeah, she's called my friend. You're like, her number is. I'm like, why do you know her phone number? Like, 
Uh, I mean, the daughter, how could you do that to her? Actually, very, very good True. question, Mom. Very, it's, it's 100%. That's the, the part that's really the problem. Very good question, Mama. So here's the answer to that question. A two-pronged answer. One, she is estranged from her daughter, so they're not very close. Two, she actually did trash her daughter's credit. So that is why she's in very big trouble, and she faces up to five years in prison because not only did she steal her daughter's identity fully, she applied for and got student loans for books and housing and all sorts of other funds that she illegally acquired. And on top of that, she has trashed her daughter's credit. So, uh, yes, girls just want to have fun. That's like her reference everywhere she goes. Yeah. Oh, my God, that'd be so funny. Her, uh, her pager goes off in the middle of the class. I said she just shows up with like a number two pencil, you know? Yeah. We're like, what are you doing here? We just we use pens now. And you're like, oh. She got like an old sharpener. Yeah, just <laughs> like, what are you doing? If you guys think of anything else that would be a dead giveaway that she's not 22, I would just love to hear. Maybe like she goes to like a bar and everybody's ordering shots and she orders like a glass of red wine, you know? <laughs> Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, I know. I know. I feel bad for the daughter too, but I. The story is so ridiculous that we had to cover it with you guys. <laughs> Afternoon naps. That's college. I took a lot of naps. Pete Torres just dropped up. Oh my god! A five bomb. Are you kidding me? Let's go, Pete Torres. Welcome in. <laughs> It's getting wild in here, folks. It is getting, it's getting wild, wild in here. here. Thank you so much. Holy sheesh is right. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you. Crazy hype stream. It really is. Illegal just got one. Lambowski, Blader, Damn, Parker. That is so... Um, let's double that down. Damn, that's snug. That's very, very snug, you, Pete Torres. Thank you so much for the support. That is really, 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 really freaking cool. Yo, Blader, welcome in, man. What's up, brother? You're welcome. Say welcome to uh, Pete Torres. She's a freaking goat for that. <laughs> All right. So let's go on to our next story here. Uh, I have what I used to do all the time for this show. Uh, I used to drop a little bit of story I like to call Petty Story of the Week. Petty Story of the Week. We're going to do Petty Story of the Week. I haven't done it in a while. Pete Torres, one more time. Thank you so freaking much. That was really, really sweet. Uh, Another first time Wimble chat. Wimbledon, welcome in, welcome in. Uh, my name is Nick. This is Kevin. We are doing uh, some of our stories today, and we are going to get into some candy cane tasting in just a second here. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, Hidden Panda, welcome in. All sorts of beautiful people. I don't know where you guys are coming from or how you found the stream, but welcome in, welcome in. We do a, You are very sweet, Pete Torres. We do a weekly podcast every Thursday where we do no politics, just fun stuff. Uh, fun subject so welcome in welcome in um we were just talking about this lady right here she is 48 years old but she just pretended to be 22 for two years in college she just got caught and she is probably going to go to jail um she pretended to be her daughter for two years had a boyfriend took college classes she was partying uh first off do you think she looks uh she looks under 30 i no but does May she look under 40? Yes. A she, yeah. Like, if she told me she was, like, 33, I'd be I like, believe it. I believe it. I believe it. 22? No. No. Chad, do <laughs> you, you believe this lady's 22 if now, she walked I, in? I'm curious if this is her mugshot or if this is, like, a photo they had of her, like, you know, all done up or whatever. You You've know? never seen so many gifted subs jump in so quickly? That's a lie, Zeus. Have you ever been into my stream with this guy named Zeus? Um... Uh, so streamer just also want to give you. Well, come on over. Okay, yeah, she doesn't look it. Okay, so now let's go on to the next story here. Um, my petty story of the week. I just want to ask you guys what you think of this. I believe 30, 35, so would I. No way, she says, taking forever, 21. <laughs> to new levels. Taking forever, 21 to new levels. Okay, you know what? I like the joke. Let's go. Um, They let you wear cat ears in a mug shot. <laughs> I think it might be just they pulled, like, her, a Facebook photo or something of her. That's really funny. Y'all are actually bringing the heat right now. That's really funny. Taking forever on 21 to a new level is really my favorite comment of the day so far. Um, okay. So I used to do a, a theme called Petty Story of the Week where I read a petty story. This one, what I liked about it was it's simple, and it came with a picture. Um, a lady this year is getting uh, virally kind of talked about because she uh, made a sweater for a Christmas party, an ugly Christmas sweater. She's calling it her ugly Christmas sweater, and all it actually is is a list of her boyfriend's ex-girlfriends with ho, ho, and ho next to their names. So, um, she was like, yo, you can't wear these. Uh, so, these are the ho, ho, hoes. This is her sweater. 
I want to know. You know. That sweater is a little snug. I agree with you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you're new to the stream, that is a word we're trying to get to catch on. So, damn, that's snug. That means cool, okay? Uh, damn, that's snug. <laughs> Zeus likes this story. Uh, <laughs> so, she decided she was going to wear like, an ugly Christmas sweater with all of her uh, boyfriend's ex-girlfriends. I want to know to you, chat, and I'm going to ask Lamb. On the petty meter of 1 to 10, 10 being the most petty, that it's so unbelievably petty that it's actually so unbelievably terribly un un inappropriate. And 1 is like, it's petty, but it's really funny and cool. It's it's like weird because I the pettiness, I don't think, is that high. The red flag craziness Ooh. is very high. It's very high. Okay. You're I, like, it's like, it's like something funny to say yes like you know in like a conversation you know be funny yeah. like if i just put your exes on it yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. that'd be funny that'd be funny but to do it to be is a level of crazy you yeah. have to go find photos yes. print them out bejewel <laughs> them and bedazzle them <laughs> my man zeus said 13 yeah. Pitor is laughing and Penn said seven he's only on a seven out of ten yeah. so here's what i'm gonna say yeah that's pretty much off the charts petty i agree the pettiness is really high here's what i'll say now, this is, I'm going to quantify, well, I'm going to say this. If it's only one ex that has, for some reason, trashed, you know. That you both agree are you terrible. Both agree is a terrible person. She's always, like, doing messed up stuff. She's trying to get back in his life, and she's obnoxious, and she's insane. And you have one picture of her, and it says, ho, 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 and it's an ugly Christmas sweater. I actually don't think the petty level is that high. I actually think it's funny, and I think it's maybe like a five petty, and I think it's right there where it needs to be. It's a perfect level of petty. This, like, let's say they're going in, out. Let's say this they're is going, theoretically three to five to ten years worth of exes. Chronologically, like the girl at the bottom looks like that picture is from like high school, bro. Yeah. Like that picture could be like, yeah, like eight years old. Like that is pettiness at a level that I've never actually seen before. But I agree with you, the jealousy and the insanity of it. I believe you have to run for the hills. This is not something that's tolerable. And it, now let me ask you this. Your girl, you're dating a girl. She shows up to your house. You're about to go out to a party. To your work party. No. <laughs> <laughs> you're about to go to a work party. You're about to go to a work party, but she shows up to your house, and she's like, I made this sweater. I think it's really, really funny. As a boyfriend, no. do you have any say in this? I'm saying we're not either. You're not. You're changing or we're not going. What do you think, Chad? Do you have any say in this? I'm laughing hard at this. I'm glad. Karen, uh, keep kept the grudge. I've never seen so many red flags in one day. <laughs> uh, family dinner, maybe. <laughs> family true. dinner, maybe. True. true. You could all have a good chuckle about it. Zeus, that's a really good point. Family family dinner, kind of funny. They're like, yeah. yeah Mark Ray dated some Karen crazy. Karen one was pretty crazy. crazy Karen two, crazy. pretty crazy. Going to her face. Yeah, sweater in the background. Her face is, uh, oh, yeah, you're right. It does. I think it's the Grinch, though, in the back one. Um, but so if you're a boyfriend, or even if it's reverse, if you're a girlfriend and your boyfriend shows up with all your crazy exes on it, do you have, as you, like you said, I think, I think you played it right. I think you say, look, either you take that off or we don't go at all. You cannot show up. To, they're already at the party. Yeah, this is at a party. I'd be mortified. You'd be like, yo, your girl, Loki, is kind of insane. Yeah. Like, I'd be like, yeah, I didn't know that until. Right, yeah, right? I'm breaking up with her on the ride home. <laughs> I was not aware of how insane she was either. Uh, I love the story. It made me laugh. Uh, however, can we all admit, though, Loki, the girl in the middle, does kind of look like a bee. She's got some some vibes. She's got she She's looks kind of cr she looks kind of cranky. Yeah. I don't know why the middle X is I think who the shirt was designed for. <laughs> yeah, and then they she were looks, like, let's fill it in with some <laughs> other ones. She looks like she could be a problem. The one at the top does look kind of smuggy too. The girl at the bottom looks very nice. I know, she super pleasant. Like really, yeah, looks like a really nice lady. Um, no, are you changing, dude? This guy has a type. <laughs> yes. 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 I would agree. It's kind of embarrassing. I actually, oh my God, that's so true. He does have a type, dude. Crazy. Uh, <laughs> kind of snug. Okay. This sweater's kind of snug, too. All right. Let's go on to uh, an, a, a part of the stream that we have been really, really excited for. Before we do that. Gosh, damn it. Here we go. Yep. Sorry. Caught me off guard. Easy. Softball. <laughs> What is the name of the toy Arnold Schwarzenegger wants in Jingle All the Way? Oh, that is a softball. That's a... But... Knocked out of the park. Maybe not for the chat. Not for the chat, but for me... For you. I say this... I legitimately say this phrase maybe six to 7,000 times during the holiday season because for some reason it sticks in my head. And I can... I literally hear Arnold in my head saying, and I'm going to give chat eight seconds. <laughs> now, Mal, you're close, but you're not right, dude. You're actually so close, yep. it's still wrong somehow. It's unbelievable. 
Uh, so the seven, name of the six, name of the toy that he, Arnold Schwarzenegger and everybody and Sinbad and everybody else in this movie jingle all the way is, want. I want a Turbo Man doll. Let's go with the Turbo <laughs> Man doll. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, turbo. turbo Man doll. Yes, and then his pesky sidekick, who I cannot think of at the time. But if anybody has the knows the pesky sidekick name, that would be really impressive. Uh, what's right. the name of the dog? Do you remember? In the, in the movie? That no one wants? There's like a thousand of them at the store? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, the, the pesky sidekick. Yeah. That's what he is. I can't remember his name. His name and is... Uh, the bad guy. Tony would probably, of all people, is he in the house? Tony would probably know this answer uh, of, of the, the sidekick that they, nobody wants. I don't remember it off the top of my head. No. I don't remember it either. Uh, what's Turbo Man's nemesis? Oh. Yeah, he's got bad the, plays. He's got the brain guy. Yeah. He's a um, uh, fudge sickle. I don't know, dude. But if anybody knows any of the names, I'll be very impressed. Uh, okay. Let's get into something that we have been dying to do. We, the royal we, now me and Lamb have tasted over the course of the last two weeks. I have been very adamant, and my research has been strong. Would you say that's fair? A little too strong. <laughs> Sometimes this man is six, seven candy canes deep at a time. That's way too much. He's mixing and matching now. He's trying to create new flavors. He's been in there. <laughs> Just cre- just mixing <laughs> we have mashups gathered, between we have, flavors. We have gathered, I would say, 15 boxes of candy canes of all different flavors this year. And um, for research, me and Lamb have been eating them constantly. Nick is very sus. Uh, I have been eating them constantly, and so is Lamb. And we've been, we're going to let you guys know, real quickly, we're going to go through a bunch here. Uh, we're not going to try them on air. We're going to go through real quickly which ones we thought were legendary, really worth your time, and which ones that you guys should just fully skip over. And then we have three which we're going to try on air. We have saved the worst for last. So do not go anywhere. Uh, the worst have been saved for last. Okay, so number one on the list. We got the Hershey's. Uh, what was it? Milk chocolate. The oh, the um, cookies and cream. Okay, yeah, uh, the cookies and cream. Not not the Oreo cookies and cream. This is the or, uh, okay Hershey's one. So for this one, oh, chocolate mint. Sorry, chocolate mint. Okay, for this one, uh, here's what I'll say. Okay, we're gonna go three questions. What were the three yeah. questions? Uh, what do, Okay, let me. I'm gonna write this down so we don't keep forgetting the questions. Okay, so the three questions we were gonna do were. Uh, what do we would we buy it again? Yep. Uh, repeat. Yeah. Repeat business. Uh, does it taste like similarity to what it says? Similarity. Or whatever. Yeah. Was is it similar? And then overall taste. Overall. Okay. So, uh, would I buy this one again? No. Uh, chocolate and mint is not that great as a candy cane. It's okay, but there's a million other candy canes that are better. Uh, does it taste like? Hershey's chocolate mint, a little. To me, a little wasn't that exciting. Yeah, think of like a really bad Andy's mint. <laughs> yes, exactly right. Overall, one out of ten, I'm going to give it like a four or three. I was, yeah, I was going to think of two. It really was not that exciting. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, Hershey's kind of let me down on this one. I thought that for a big candy company, they would bring the heat, but they did not. All right, number two. Next, we got the old Jolly Rancher. Okay, now here is where things really start to heat up, apparently. This one... Blue. Remember, I told you I was gonna blow the tits off. This blew my tits clean off. I was not ready for the level of enjoyment that I got out of this Jolly Rancher candy cane. And I'm gonna be honest with you, this picture is missing. <laughs> it's already missing candy. Canes. This kid's picture is missing candy canes. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you walk in this house and you think you're gonna get a Jolly Rancher candy cane, you have you are unless sad. you brought them, you're not getting. You're them. sadly mistaken. They are gone. These Jolly Rancher candy canes are fire. And I'm gonna give you a couple reasons why. One, they're all different flavors, and yeah. they taste exactly. Like the Jolly Ranchers. It is so unbelievably enjoyable for me. That's my personal opinion. You have to like Jolly Ranchers, obviously. If you like Jolly Ranchers, so crazy good. I would buy them again. At the, My buy level is very high on this one. At nine, I'd buy it again. Uh, does it taste like it? A ten. Overall for me, it's a nine or a ten, dude. So damn good. I'd give it an eight because I'm just not a Jolly crazy Rancher. Jolly Rancher fan. Okay. But all the other ones, it is for sure spot on. Super, super tasty. Give it a try, chat. Uh... Wow. Hot tamales. Hot tamale. This is easily me and Lamb's sleeper. Yeah. No. Not even a sleeper. Shocker. A shocker. Surprise. Surprise shocker. I do not like hot tamales. Okay. If I'm going to eat a candy, I don't want it to taste like a piece of gum. Okay. That does not get me wound up. It is such an odd flavor. It's just not for me. Uh, raise your hand in chat if you even would buy a box of hot tamales unprompted. Hot tamales are fire as fuck. Okay. Still listening, though. Okay, I appreciate that. Uh, you like hot tamales, Legal. That really does surprise me. Is anybody here actually a big hot tamales fan? That really does surprise me. I liked them a lot as a kid mm-hmm. until I, like, broadened my palate. 
Yeah, I feel like they're like the shitty version of Mike and Ike's. That's what I feel like. I feel like Mike and Ike's came out and they're really delicious. And then somebody's like, yo, what if we made them that busted ass like cinnamon flavor that we do gum? And somebody's like, that's a horrible idea. And they, and they, <laughs> Watch, kids will eat it. And then they have zero chance. I eat them on the regular. That's crazy. Okay, so now here, all that said, we went and ate them. Would you buy them again? Let's start with that. No. No. Okay, that's fair. I would not buy them again. Do they taste on the ratedness of the taste like the candy? Oddly, not really. I agree with you. Not as high on that list as either. Do they taste like the candy? Not as much as you would think. I mean, you still got the cinnamon and everything like that. Now, here's where we're going to shock you. Overall flavor. Way better than expected. Way better than expected, chat. I'm going to be honest with you. It was very enjoyable. Yeah. I think if Hot Tamales brought their like flavor like level down and of the had, cinnamon, like I think they'd be more enjoyable. And you said why, though. It's like in the candy cane. There's, like, well, there's, there's it's sweetness. Like, yeah. Yes. Lamb said that, that a real hot tamale is so cinnamony that it loses like the candiness. This, they've added some extra sugar and sweet element to it's it. It's like, yeah, it's got like a it's like a hot tamale coating on a candy cane. Yes. On, you know, Very tasty. I'm gonna give it like are. a I'm gonna give it like a six or a seven for yeah, me. I'll give it a seven. Okay. Because I'm more of a fan of them. Fantastic. What do we got next? We got next, we got ooh, the old lifesaver. Lifesaver. Very disappointed by this, but yep. I'm gonna Wildly be wildly disappointed. Very disappointed, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't really like lifesavers. So let's just start there. If y'all like lifesavers, lifesavers are pretty weak candy. <laughs> I love your passion for it. No, you're right. You're right. It's just like if, yeah. if I was like, yo, you got any candy? And I hand you a, a pack of lifesavers. I'm going to be like, no, I thought you said, I thought you you said candy. candy. Yeah, yeah you, it's not even candy. That'd be, like if you, that'd be like if you said candy and you handed me Tic Tacs. That'd be like every time I had to tell my brother this joke, if he says, hey, can you bring home ice cream? And I always tell him I brought home sherbet. He doesn't even think the joke's funny. No. He doesn't it, even think it's a little bit funny. So angry. He literally says to me, if, I, if you ever tell me you brought home ice cream and I look in the freezer and there's sherbet, I'm going to get really upset. He said this multiple times to me. He does not think that sherbet is ice cream and he says, do not consider it that. I don't consider Lifesavers candy. Uh, would you buy it again? No. No. Nah. Would, did it taste like Lifesavers? Kind of. Yeah. I would say like 7 out of 10 on Lifesavers. I think Lifesavers taste kind of like Andy Gaines to begin with. So. <laughs> Overall, though, it's like a 4. All right, yeah. give me the next one. Starburst. Phenomenal. Lifesavers, some old people shit, dude. That's true. <laughs> that college mom would have a roll of Lifesavers in it first. All true. <laughs> mom Styles immediately clicking in the LOL. Yep. Love that. I would, too. Uh, pop some Lifesaver gummies in the brisk kiwi strawberry. Change your life. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're not talking gummies. Okay, so now these are the Starburst ones. For me, might be the second or third top pick for me. It's a top-tier flavor. Would you buy sure. it again? It's hard to, for me to justify buying candy canes more than once, period. Agreed. But if I... If somebody want, to, sent me to the store to buy candy canes and I'm looking, these are one I'm pulling off the shelf. Very, very tasty. How much they taste like Skittle, a Starburst for, for me? A lot. I'm like an eight or a nine, dude. Every one of them were like, oh, this is supposed to be this one. Oh, this is supposed to be this one. And you know how you guys are all fighting over the pink one? They were gone immediately out of that box. Weird fact about me, hate the pink ones. I'm going to go ahead and turn off Lamb's <laughs> microphone for you guys. Sorry, guys. Lamb's down. Lamb just said he hates pink Starburst. Chat, can we talk about this for a second? Red, your, red's my number one. I love, red's number two for me, but pink is so far ahead of everything else. It's crazy. Then I usually go yellow. Oh my! <laughs> and then orange, ah! and I'll throw pink away. Ah! Okay, well, we are. This is just we've just gone. <laughs> so off So it the feels rails. like we could work together. Yeah, we should eat Starburst <laughs> together. <sometime. laughs> All right. So for me, overall, for the Starburst, I'm like a nine, dude. It was so freaking delicious. Yeah, I gave it an eight. Pink is second, red is second. Oh, okay. Red is first, pink is second. We got two for red. Right. Hold on. I heard this. I had to come back. How do you ungift sub? <laughs> what, who said that? Zeus wants to ungift because I hate pink. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that's what was happening. Uh, really I'm assuming. Funny. That's really no refund. Sorry, Zeus. I don't like the watermelon ones. Wow. All right. Now, what do we got next? Oreo. Oreo. Okay. This one I think we might differ on. What's your opinion? I love Oreos. Fantastic. I'm going to start with that statement. I love Oreos. Uh huh. These were not Oreos to me. Okay, that's your opinion. And then would you? Okay, so would you buy it again? No way. No. Uh, overall, like a four. Okay, so I enjoyed them much more than Lamb did. I I thought that they tasted like um, if you took a milkshake and you melted it. Well, uh, that was uh, chocolate and vanilla. I thought it tasted much more like the cream in an Oreo than it did an Oreo. I totally understand what Lamb's saying. Did it taste like an Oreo? I'll give it like a 5 out of 10. Did I enjoy it? I'll give it like a 7 out of 10. I enjoyed the flavor, but I don't know that they captured an Oreo. I agree with yeah. you there. Agree with you there. No Ray Funsies. Sorry, guys. That's really funny, though. Funfetti. Uh, I did not think the Funfetti was even moderately interesting. I'm going to be completely blown with you. First off, can we 
Can we just stop with the funfetti? Yeah, who, who's big? It's sprinkles and cake. Yeah, yeah. It is not a flavor. No, not a flavor, dude. It's, it's sh- cake flavor, yeah. and then they put, like, bright colors on it. I it, don't like sprinkles anyway, and you already know my thought. I think yeah. sprinkles are lame anyway, so this one I definitely don't understand. I also don't know that people are running around like, oh, we need funfetti candy canes. Like, that. whoever's selling that is really pushing hard because I think that's trash. Give me, number, give me another yeah, one. Garbage. Trash. Sweet tart. <laughs> I thought sweet tart was going to be really, really good. Just not be a thing. Totally agree, dude. Man said milkshake, but melted. So milk. <laughs> no, I said milkshake, a uh, chocolate and vanilla milkshake mixed. I should have. Maybe I, I did said that poorly. A vanilla and chocolate milkshake blended together, melted. That's what it tastes like to me. Uh, sweet tart. I thought the sweet tarts were really enjoyable. Um, it was a very nice candy cane. I thought it tasted very similar to a sweet tart but I would never buy it again. No. I'd say they're better than Sweet Tarts. Okay, I agree with that, maybe. They, they were very tasty. I'm not... A, yeah, like Sweet Tarts as a candy again. Five or six yeah. on the candy cane. All, All right, right, what do you got? Last one? Last one. Well, second to last. Last one. Sour Patch Kids. Now, I, Chad, I just want to know, which one of you guys like Sour Patch Kids? Can we start with that I first? I love... Love Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch me Kids. Me too. So, this is hard for me to say. I did not like these candy canes. Not enough sour. Not... There is almost... There's none. There's little to no sour in this candy cane. How could you make a Sour Patch Kids candy cane and not have sour? It literally is like all the sweet part of the, of the, of the Sour Patch Kids. Very disappointing. Um, unfortunately, I will give it like a six that it tasted like a Sour Patch Kid because it kind of did, but just just missing half. It's just missing half. Yeah, I would never more of a buy Patch it. Kid. I would never, yeah, love Sour Patch Kids. Love. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, this one's going to let you down. No. I know. That's the problem. It's like if you like Sour Patch Kids, you love Sour Patch Kids. Agreed. And then so you're so hyped for it, then you get it, and it is not... It's there. whack. It's whack. It's whack. It's whack and do. Not a sour fan. Now that is interesting. I don't know a lot of people that don't like sour patch kids. All right, last one. Last one is one we got to try now. Damn it. All right, here goes the three that we have to try now. And I say damn it because the three that we have to try now, I am all three of them not excited for. So let's get right into it. First Peeps. one. Peeps, who I don't even think counts as candy, uh, has made themselves candy cane flavored peeps. Oh, one we didn't talk about. Traditional candy canes. Traditional candy canes are disgusting. And should They're be, garbage. And they should be replaced uh, immediately with Jolly Rancher candy canes. Like, the idea, why did it take so long to make other flavors of candy canes? Hate peeps. Peeps are gross. What the hell is that? Love peeps. What? Love what? Love peeps. Oh, I went to full screen. Can you guys cut us back? Sorry. You love peeps? Boo, traditional candy canes. Yes. Hate peeps. Love peeps. Here's your sleeve. Now, hey, get the hell out of here. Here's my sleeve. So these are the peeps. These are peep candy canes, okay? Oh, man. Smell them. Oh, my God. I literally hate them a thousand times worse than I did before you opened the bag. I know. It smells exactly like cheap candy canes that you get from this, the Salvation Army Santa. This outside smells of like mouthwash. That is what it smells like to me. Oh, my God. It smells just like mouthwash to me. Oh, boy. First off, peeps are disgusting. This is like the, this is like, what are those candies that they give away at Halloween that everybody thinks should die? Not candy corn. The other ones that are like, they're like just like powder anti, <laughs> a, anti-acid oh, tablets. Um, not sweet tarts. Yeah, yeah, but they're just like sweet yeah. tarts. They're, it starts with an N, ne- Necco wafers. Necco wafers, but then there's also the ones that are real tiny. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. disgusting. Okay, let's try one of these. Cheers. Oh, yeah, are we doing the, the whole thing? I gotta eat the whole thing. Ah. Uh-huh. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, man. The initial flavor is so peppermint. However, once you get through it, the soft inside is very nice. I will say I don't hate it as much as I wanted to hate it. I wanted to hate it like a 12, and I only hated it like an 8. Yeah, this is is not candy, dude. This is not candy. I will say it might be the best peep I ever had, though. (laughs) (laughs) This is straight up not candy, bro. (laughs) Straight up not candy, dude. This is like, this is like if your mom was like, "Hey, you need to go to bed. You need to brush your teeth." And like, I don't want it. And she was like, "I'll right, give him one of those peeps." <laughs> or you just like pop one in your mouth and be like, "Yeah, smell my breath." I, I. yeah, yeah, this is, yeah. This is like disgusting. You keep these in your car if you're like going on a date. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. There you pop go. a peep in your mouth real yep. quick. You know, banaca spray is that still a thing? Regular peeps are bomb. I don't, uh, alien, you might be the only person in the entire chat that likes peeps. All right, number two, chat. We are really doing this for you guys. We talked about these last time. We talked about this. You guys should know what's coming. You want to cut the change the screen? Cut screen. I'll pull these out. Yeah. These are mac and cheese. Oh, you don't have a, a graphic for it. No. Okay. Mac and cheese right, flavored 
candy canes. <laughs> Alien makes sense, right? That's right, Mal. The mac and cheese candy cane is being brought out. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. We were very fair. We have not tried this. We have not tried this. So I don't know what to expect. I don't know what we're about to get. But there they are. So, without yeah, yeah. further ado, I'm going to... split it, because there's no reason Yeah, there's no reason to eat a whole one. I'm going to break this open. I'm just going to eat, like, this part of it. Lamb can have his part would of it. You, which do you prefer? The cane part or the stick part? Mm, if given a choice. I think the cane part. Okay. Uh, let me give it a smell. Oh. oh, my God. I don't even smell food. I don't it smells think, fake. It literally smells like dog food. Or maybe I just putted the dog. All right. Oh, yeah, me and Lamb are talking about this. I'm a lighter. I am not. Lamb says I'm not allowed to bite candy canes. Oh, my God, this is so horrible. No, nope, I'm out. I'm done. I'm not a huge mac and cheese. Oh, take it out of your mouth. <laughs> and then just like, or once you're done, no, then gonna, you'll, fl- I'm you'll gonna taste. Bluff, I'm going to muffle through this one. The amount of mac and cheese I taste now is so much more, like, on my tongue. Let me tell you this right now, chap. I am not having a good time. This is... This is so offensive on my palate. And I've worked very many years to refine this palate. Oh, God, this just won't end. Mac and cheese See what you get for biting? (laughs) Mac and cheese won't die. (laughs) Okay, now... I do have to say something, and then you're right. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like, I don't even know why I thought this. I thought it was going to taste like some homemade mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. It tastes like if you were making a candy cane and somebody took the powder from a Kraft mac and cheese packet and mixed it. You know what it tastes like to me is when you dump the powder in and you get a puff up into your face. Yes, that's exactly what it tastes like. So there is some remnants. I'll give it that. There's some remnants of mac and cheese. I don't know if I gave it to you, if that's what you'd say. You'd probably just be, you might get, you know what you'd probably, cheese? I'd probably some get weird. popcorn or something. I might say like nacho cheese. Yeah, like it's weird. whack, dude. Don't do it, chat. Uh, $2 for a mac, that's actually very true. Yeah, $2 for real mac and cheese I'd have all day, every day. I'm offended for you. Nick, my pass out is so gross, dude. It's actually so gross. It's really unenjoyable. I really. Would- so we're going to give them to other people. So now what we're going to do for you guys, the very last one. That, that's disgusting. Honestly, it's so gross. It's really un- unenjoyable. Uh, very last one for you guys. I'm going to cut over. Almost probably worse. This is ham. That's right. Ham-flavored candy canes. Okay? Uh, I'm taking a much smaller bite this time. <laughs> Lesson learned. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god. It tastes like ham. It smells like I just <laughs> It opened. smells terrible. Did you try it yet though? <laughs> no, but I'm so impressed with the smell and impressed in like a gross way. It tastes like ham. I am <laughs> It tastes I am so nervous cuz the smell is so offensively ham. It tastes like it smells like canned ham. That's why yeah. I don't like it. That's why I don't like it. It smells like canned ham. All right, here we go, chat. Here we go, chat. Oh man, I'm, I'm actually just really it. just lick it. I can't do it. I'm not like I'm, if I'm gonna commit, I'm diving into the pool, dude. All right, dive into your ham. <laughs> <laughs> ham dive. Here I, it goes. I swear to you on my life chat, I'm legitimately nervous about putting this in my mouth. <laughs> the smell is so canned hammy. It literally smells like somebody just opened a can of ham. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even do it. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, God, what is it? What is it? It's ham. I don't know what it is, but it's ham. I I couldn't describe the flavor of ham to you. But you know it when it's in <laughs> your you, mouth. Yeah. Yep. You know, you know when it's in your mouth. You know that I, ham in I, your I, mouth flavor. I don't, I'm not a quitter. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can eat this piece. I, don't, I, I really don't know if I can do this. I'm going to take a bite of it, though, because I want to be able to see the, the center. Is there any redeeming quality to this fucking candy cane? The only redeeming quality to this is watching someone else eat it. 
Okay, so the inside is very sweet. So they just have ham on the outside? Yes, 100%. That's just a ham coating. That is so repugnant, dude. Oh, my God. I There's got to be something in here I can eat. Is there like a, <laughs> is there like a real candy cane in this bitch? <laughs> Not stop! That. Stop giving me. You can go get one. Stop giving me. I didn't grab it. Stop giving me one. Christmas meal flavored shit. <laughs> I'll be right back. I, I got some. Gra- I got some gravy flavored candy canes if you're interested. Yeah, we got some deviled egg ones for sure. We might have a green bean casserole one floating around. I think there's a couple of those left. <laughs> Why do I keep licking it? God, ugh. So gross. I don't understand. That, that helps a lot. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I forgot what real candy cane tastes like. Oh, my God. Go in there. I, like, legit, like, my brain just, like, couldn't process. It's coming through my nose. <laughs> I feel like somebody shoved a ham. <laughs> <laughs> they did get the ham flavor spot on somehow. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know who needed... Dude, it's so... Who at the factory was like, yo, let's see if we can make ham Bro, flavor. They, at least they got ham flavor dead on. They got ham, like, I mean, I'm, I chat. If anybody wants one of these, we will send it to you. They got this ham flavor on it. Like, I mean, just dead on. If you have somebody in your family or whatever... That you hate. This is a great kind of joke gift. It's a very funny gag gift. I'm dead ass serious. It... Okay, so let me, let's, let's do, like, the metrics here, right? If the mac and cheese, you asked me what level mac and cheese it tastes like, I would taste it like a four. I'm not going to give it a zero, but they missed. If you could give me the ham, I will give it like a nine. Like, uh, like I don't even know if, like a ten might be it. I don't know if I you think can, it might be worse that they got it right. 100%. Like, they like went too hard on it. They were like, yeah, it's got to taste like ham. You're like, bro, like ham's not a candy cane. But Why they, don't we they, make it like brown sugar ham? Or like, you know, yeah. like. <laughs> right. Why can't they do like a sweet ham? Why do they have to do like canned ass, bunk ass ham? <laughs> No, we're going like sliced deli ham. Cheap sliced ham. I cannot explain to you, chat, the level that I'm grossed out. I'm trying to like talk to you guys and, and have like an entertaining podcast, but the level that that was tasted like a piece of canned ham is so surreal to me. I, I literally can't get it. All it does is want me to give it to someone else, though. I want to want someone else to taste it and experience it. All right. I was, like, really trying to commit to y'all. But, man, I can't even, like... It's, like, seared into my brain. It is seared in... All right, let's get off it. We just went ham on some candy canes, and now it's time to move on. Oh! Yeah, come on, baby. We're bringing it all day. All right. Now, let's do something that we really like to do on this damn show. And let's talk about some goddamn aliens. So snug files in here, biatch, and we're about to get super snug. <laughs> I appreciate you clipping. I appreciate all the clips, guys. Thank you guys for those. We'll definitely use them. We will definitely use those. Um, if you guys were not here last week, this article was nice enough to feature the video <laughs> from last week. Um, <laughs> last week, we talked about a a about 16 lights in the sky that were somehow moving in unison. Uh, if it, it, you want to yeah. scroll down just so I can kind of point to yeah. it, we can just show what we're talking about. A uh, pilot this was, one right here. Yeah. This story, if you guys have not seen it, these lights were moving about 40,000 uh, feet in the air. Very weird stuff. Um, and to be honest with you, me and Lamb like to get excited for you guys, but this tripped us out at a level beyond the show. Yeah. Fair? This was one of the first ones I'm like, mm. that's weird. But then we follow up. With another sighting, and this is just this week, right down the street from me in Chino Hills, which is not that far from where me and Lamb live. A lady filmed this on her phone. It is getting debated because people are saying, oh, they're just lights. Let's go ahead and full screen it for you. Um, she filmed this from her backyard. Uh, and now, before you say anything, this is what the this is what they she was shown. This is what she was filming. Uh, this goes on for, I believe, an hour. When people are saying, oh, it just could be lights, yada, yada, yada. But nobody in Los Angeles was able to say that there was any light show anywhere that night. So this, they were self-illuminating 
They I were, think they said there was like a Drake show or something, and they were doing the lights for it. Nice. They were just doing a really <laughs> terrible job. Yeah. Uh, so these were flying around the sky. Uh, there was multiple videos. This was just one of them that was sent in. It happened to be one of the better videos that was sent in. Uh, nobody was able to say for sure that there was any kind of light show. But this is interesting only in the sense of how similar it is to last week's discussion. Exactly. Um, and what I find crazy about this whole thing is this is what I'm going to tell you guys. If, if Lamb can scroll up to the other one here. This is what I think is funny. Two weeks in a row, there are sightings which people are having trouble describing. Two weeks in a row, it's not that they're even just things. There are self-illuminating things flying around. Here's what I'm going to say to you guys. Aliens are real. Aliens are freaking real. Also, if you're, let's say, I'm going to give you a couple, a couple maybe, a couple hypotheticals, all right? Let's say you're a government. Let's say you're Russia. Let's say you're China, mm. right? And you have this new drone that's going to spy on the United States, right? One of the features you might not include is the self-illumination. <laughs> yeah. Let's make this as visible as possible. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I, to me, that's why I first thought is maybe it's a drone, right? Maybe it's some kind of spy equipment. Probably not the best idea for it to brightly glow, okay? So right off the bat, I think that should be eliminated from the conversation. Whatever it is is flying around, and I doubt it has anything to do with a drone or anything like that. Uh, also, even if it was a drone, very rare do they stay, they can fly for an hour like that on some kind of battery power. Not any sort of commercial drone that right. you could buy. Not any commercial drone. Three, the light thing. There is, I don't know. A hundred million people in Los Angeles, right? Somebody would have been able to say, oh, there was a light show at so-and-so club, and those were the lights. This went on for an hour. Nobody has come out and been able to say what it was. All of that, very interesting. I don't know if you guys have ever seen anything like this that you've had questions about, but if you are, please share in chat. Now, second story, right behind that. Um, there was a There was some documents released this week. Okay, and as uh, we start to push the government for harder and harder for them to release things and tell us the truth, they continue to kind of slowly peel back their information. And as it slowly peels back, it is very apparent that this is something that they are willing to admit either that, A, they don't understand it, but at least B, that they're willing to admit that it is real. And some of the documents have very much shown that. Yeah, there's stuff out there that they are just... Not sure about, which is really, and then this one, which they link to in the article, is probably one of the weirdest ones. Yeah, I think we have it pulled up in a yeah. second. So, so what they're talking about, well, this is this is actually in reference to a, um, there was an American warship this week, and this is a totally true story. This is not like some junky story. This is a totally true story. There's an American warship this, this week, and they were surrounded and kind of circled by 14 unidentified flying objects, okay? This is a kind of a video that was released of the radar that was being used. Uh, they also have a script explaining what happened along the way. Um, Lamb, if you want to replay that, you can turn the sound up, and we can actually kind of sh talk you through. Uh, scroll up a little bit so we can see something. Oh, yeah, is a script here? Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, yeah. So it's 14 targets. Minimum, the targets are six feet in diameter. The speeds of these targets were anywhere from 46 to 158 miles an hour. The flights lasted over an hour, similar to the lights in the sky mm -hmm. in the other report. Um, they said that they were picked up on two different types of radar, so this was not some kind of glitch. Self-illuminated? Self-illuminated. On top of all of that. They have not quelled anybody's fears. They have come out and said they were spherical and that they are not sure what they are. Okay? They also said that the crafts uh, entered into the water, which I thought was really interesting after they were done flying. Aliens have jet skis now. Yeah, they like our water system. Yeah. And they are pissed that we're messing it all up. <laughs> um, so if, if Land pauses for a second, I want to ask here, I got... I, th I hope Zeus is still here because he was one of the main people I was hoping would be here for this one. And maybe Malcolm for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Can you go up to the script? Um, no, no, remember like in the article it actually talked about like every word that was said? Oh, that's in this one. Oh, okay. Okay. So here's the script. Uh, now that helps me. Still here. 
So here's the script of what was said along the naval ship as they're flying around. Okay, so he says, uh, yes, sir. He said, the number of contacts you've got, get the course and speed and meters of them. Okay, so he says, yo, we got 14 of these sons of bitches. How fast are they going? What are they doing? He says, yeah, you know what I mean? In relative position to us and their bearings might be helpful too. Eyes up, eyes down. No idea what the F that means. <laughs> Maybe somebody Look up, me. look down. I don't know. <laughs> Did it. Yeah. No, Are they above us or below us? I don't know. says, maintain track as best you can. Track 781 just sped up. I assume 781 is the, 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 the label that they gave it. He said it just sped up to 46 knots, 50 knots. It's closing in. Then he says, this is somebody on a naval ship. 138 knots. Holy shit, they're going fast. Oh, and it's turning around. That one, there's my question. That one's pretty much perfectly 000, zero, zero relative, right? Yeah. 263 at three miles, 55 knot speed. What does that one over there is pretty much perfectly 000, zero, zero relative mean? Does that mean that it is heading directly at them? Or does that mean it's relative in the sense it's zero, zero, zero above their head? I don't know. Regardless, these are people that look at radars for their job. And they seem not only... In both, the Navy. In the Navy. Against they, like other like foreign like planes and boats and everything. Yeah. Eyes up, resend signal. Eyes down, stop sending signal. Let's go. Let's go, Zeus! <clears throat> Uh, hold on back. I'm yelling at the kids to go to sleep. Okay, Zoot, have a, you jump in on this conversation, too. Um, these people are something, like you said, these people, are like, like, like Lamb just said, they work in the Navy. They see ships all the time. They look at radar all day, every day. They're literally trained not to panic. They are literally, they seem dumbfounded. They seem surprised. They seem confused. They seem alert. And they seem like, you rarely see somebody say, holy shit, they're going fast. They look at these things all the time. These things are flying around. So here, here's what I think is interesting. If it's a ship, it's not going to be, if it's a, like, a, like a flying some kind of ship, it's not going to be going 48 miles an hour. No. Right? It's not the, fast enough to create. No. Right? It most, I, don't, I don't know of any plane that could fly at 46 miles an so hour. Right, so it can't be that. But then to go to 130, 150 miles an hour, uh, again, still not really that fast enough to be doing anything, but also what a drone's not speeding up and taking off that. Yeah, there's fast. no drones going 150 miles an hour. So again, I just think this guy is very this is very interesting. Uh, there was a lot, and I mean a lot of stories this week, and I don't we don't normally find any. There was a lot of stories this week that were all really similar to this. It was over and over and over and over. Um, like I said, I don't know what zero zero relative means, but I assume it means either it's coming right at the ship or it's right above the ship. And either way, these. Take a look. These, um, here, I'll go main screen for you. So anyway, these uh, things that were circling this American uh, aircraft circled it for about an hour. Uh, that didn't help us at all. Uh, it actually said it when I you said it. radar. Yeah, it radar. Uh, da, 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 da. There's no motion from the radar. It sees zero motion. Zero, zero, zero means maintain core speed and communications. Oh, as in zero change. Oh. Okay. Thank you, Zeus. Genius. Okay, so that's what it means. So so that one's pretty much zero, zero, zero is irrelevant. So it's just cruising at a very consistent speed. That's interesting. Hard to do. Hard to do. Very interesting. Again, I, we're not actually bringing you guys any of this information. We're not telling you like we figured anything out. But I love to drop a seed like this and have you guys uh, kind of think about it for the rest of the week. I think it's fascinating. Uh, I wouldn't just bring you an alien story just to throw it at you. This really caught me and Lamb's attention. I thought it was really interesting. As, as stuff continues to come out, a lot of it seems to hint that there is something flying around that we're un unaware of. I think it's very, very interesting. Uh, if you guys ever see any stories like this that we have missed, please let us know. Also, I say this with sincerity. We try to find reputable stories. Not, I mean, I could literally give you alien junkie stories all week. But we do kind of sift through the shit and try and find stories that seem a little bit more plausible. Yeah, we want some. We want some. We want the truth to be out there. That's true. All right. Uh, final section of the show today, guys. Holy smokes, we have gone long. Uh, we are going to do a. Anyone willing to be a probe ambassador? Uh, uh, Malice. Malice. Yeah, Malice big on that. Malice big on the probing. So you can ask him. 
He's kind of, I don't know why, he's all into it. He's always talking about probe, probe, probe. <laughs> probe this, probe that. Um, probe me, yeah. please. <laughs> I don't like that. Like, come on, we're at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Hey, the pizza's good. <laughs> That's right. Great pizza. Okay. Then we're going to do a quick section in and out for you guys. Uh, we found some things this week that, that made us laugh. We want you guys to tell us whether you're in or whether you're out. I know. I know. You do get volunteered for all are the shitty jobs. Are you in or are you out? That's right. You do get volunteered for all the shitty jobs, Mac. I do apologize for that. Um <laughs> Oh, excuse me about that one. Uh, that's why he like butt chugs. He does. Uh, Nick, I need more reason to explain military lingo to you. And honestly, Zeus, I'm so unbelievably excited that you're here for that story. You just don't even know, dude. Having somebody here with some kind of knowledge uh, in that field is very, very exciting. I When I watched that video, I got goosebumps because, again, it's the same as the video last week where it was a pilot that was freaked out. If somebody, like I said, I say this all the time, if you have 10,000 hours in something, rarely are you freaked out by anything that happens in that field, right? You yeah, see, you've not seen, a farmer seeing some light. Right, no. It's a guy that looks at a radar all day, every day for his for his job, and he is very concerned. I think that's what makes it so interesting. Uh, okay, first on in and out you guys let us know. Are you guys in or are you out? Lamb, what is this, dude? Apparently, barefoot. Who is known in the in the biz for having some of the toppest of quality wines? Incorrect. <laughs> Put out an Oreo Thins red blend that's supposed to pair perfectly with Oreo Thins. Wow. First question: Have you ever had an Oreo Thin? I have. Uh, first off, are they any different? Are they? Yes, just... they're much more focused on the cookie, and they're much more similar to like a crispy mint than you would call it an Oreo. Interesting. Not mint, but in a crispy sense. Gotcha. Uh, a little wafer. Yeah, a little wafery. Okay. As, wow, we just got one, two, three, four, five outs. I'm in. I'm trying I'm so it. so in. You guys don't want an Oreo-flavored wine? Out. Everybody's out. You walk into a party, and there's a bottle of this on the table. You're not taking a sip? Definitely taking a sip. And it's a screw-off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, question. Why did they go with Oreo Thins? Because they're they just... classier of Oreos. Nah, I think they're trying to... Upscale. I think they're trying to push these junky-ass Oreo Thins. <laughs> they made a bunch of them, and nobody's buying them. So they're like, yo, <laughs> pair them with alcohol. Do. Yeah, what we do. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck up them Oreos. Double out. You can take my sip. <laughs> Bro, there's Man. not a single person in our chat that's in. That's so weird to me. That's stunning. P. Torres is out. Oreos are perfect. Everybody's out, out. Wow, this is stunning. Here I am. I thought I thought we had a chat filled with risky people. risk takers. Risk takers. They're all t they'll eat, all eat ham uh, candy canes, but they ain't gonna try an Oreo wine. I don't know if anybody uh, volunteered <laughs> for that ham pot. I think they all did. Yeah. I heard. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody did. Uh, double stuff. Oreos are perfect. Double stuffs are great. I take a sip. Thank you, Pop. Scratch that. You can take the whole bottle. All right. After you double stuff diet. No, don't be don't be blaming the diet for you not eating some Oreo wine. All right. All right, Malk's even like Malk's one of the Malk is probably the strongest Oreo lover I've ever met. If he's out on this, I can't know if I'm, I'm, I'm convincing anybody. I'm in. I'm yeah. giving it a shot. I like red wine. So in. Let's go. What do you got, number two? Uh, classic from 1956. This came across Lamb's waves today. He wants to know if you guys ran on some fruit cocktail eggnog pie. <laughs> bro, bro. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stun everybody like this. I do want to take a bite. I know it's going to piss everybody off. I'll, I'll try a bite. Yo, I love big juicers. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> hey. Welcome in, welcome in. Uh, I'm super uh, anxious to try one bite. I do like eggnog. However, I am not going to be even the... I literally can see the chat just flickering in the right <laughs> title. I know. I know this is going to piss off everybody. Because I know everybody's a hard out. But I at least want a bite. There's way more tries than... <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Out. Gross. Audi? <laughs> no one for the wins. Why they make it thin? I want to try it. Alien, I see yeah, alien, yeah. Aliens in on everything, though. I like the aliens all about. That belongs to the fruitcake. Uh, I'm out. Damn, you guys are all I'm out. not making one of these, but if I roll up, I'm trying a piece. Man, Grandma went hard to make her eggnog fruit pie, all right? I would assume it's canned fruit, <laughs> eggnog, and gelatin mixed together. We just lost those 20 subs, dude. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I, think that, I think that started with your hate of uh, pink Starburst. <laughs> I understand. All right. Sorry. Love it. All right. Out. 
out, out. <laughs> damn it. I'm taking my Benny to win. <laughs> Man, we're losing out hard today. <laughs> Look, guys, the whole point of the show is uh, us giving us opinions, though, right? You know, that's part of the fun. That's abysmal. Like, you know, maybe I'm just more adventurous. I'd like to try things. All right. Now, we got, uh, what else we have? Some holiday gifts. We have some weird holiday gifts. This was the 45 best gifts uh, this year to please your family. And I'm going to be honest with you, they're not that great. So we're going to go over through like three or four. Yeah, we found a couple okay ones. Everything else was shit. We're, we're saving you guys. All right. Musical toilet paper rolls. Now, before I explain any more, are you in? I was so in. So in. I was so in, dude. Eggnog is bomb. Eggnog is gross. Eggnog is bomb. I love eggnog. Musical toilet paper rolls. Me and Lamb were both very excited. Okay? Now, we're about to shit on everybody's excitement. <laughs> Lamb, explain to them why you had to shit on their excitement. The, it's only musical when you open the box. <laughs> what? Yeah. Don't, don't be selling me musical toilet paper rolls. I saw that going <laughs> differently in my mind. So they're, no, they're not actually... They're not actually toilet paper rolls that make music. The only music comes when you open the box. Right? Literally, Malk, I swear I, to, I swear on my life, Malk, before the show started, I was... Boo! I was literally hitting this button, dude. What kind of terribly, unbelievably missed opportunity is this, dude? Boo! Bro, I know. So now, though... Now, as a chat, can we agree that whoever's the smartest person in here and the most tech savvy needs to go make a toilet paper roll that also makes music that has nothing to do with the fucking box? So who do we who are we volunteering for that job? I think uh, Havoc, maybe. maybe. Yeah, Havoc seems pretty Havoc, good. can you do that for me? Uh, bro, all my hopes. I did. I told. Okay, this is like we used to get bored and read the ingredients on the Lysol can. <laughs> music, a toilet paper roll box, down the toilet, boo. Uh, bro, I'm thinking them are donuts. They do look like donuts. For some reason, Havoc, uh, I don't know why, Havoc, you seem like a really smart guy, so I need you to, now, we're going to copyright it for you so that way you don't have infringement or anything. Copyright. Okay, so we copyrighted it for you. No worries. Here's what I need you to do. I need you to make toilet paper rolls for the Christmas, and each toilet paper roll has a different Christmas song. When you pull the when you pull the toilet paper, it makes a Christmas song. They're going to be very expensive, but people are going to like them. What if it's just any song? Yeah, this is what Lamb was saying. So first of all, double prong question. What is the best Christmas song that you want to hear every time you pull toilet paper? And all time, what's the best song you want to hear when you pull a piece of toilet paper? Mm, Christmas? See, I Let like, it snow? Well, <laughs> I like that. See, I like the song Last Christmas. Last Christmas. <laughs> Last Christmas, but I think it would ruin it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, is it, is it like as it goes, does it keep playing further into the song? Jingle bells, jingle bells, wipe my ass. <laughs> Nutcracker Trap Remix, that's what I've been playing in my jet all day, every day. And if that was an option, I would literally use all the toilet paper. All right, best regular song. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? <laughs> all right, solid, solid. The thong song. Thong song, I was yeah, thinking. That's yeah, one I was yeah. thinking. Uh, I, I like Sir Mix a lot. I like big butts. Well, they got a face around the roll like that. That's what I'm saying, Mike. They're fucking this whole thing up. Wait, I want toilet paper. You got it, Nuggie. What's up, dude? Can I make that a Valentine's box as well? Absolutely, yeah, dude. Love songs. Love songs. Yes, this is a great idea. Easy motion sensor activates the song when the roll rotates. Yeah. Wow, Alien with the big brain, dude. I can't imagine it'd be that difficult. Yeah, sexy love song box, dude. These are great ideas. Uh, I like who let the dogs out so far. Uh, okay, so that I'm totally out on. I was in. I was in. If out. it did what we wanted if we, it to do. If, we, if it did what we thought it did, we were in. But when I brought Stuart. <laughs> who are you selling these boxes to? 70-year-olds? Uh, just message Tesla. Hey, well, sorry about that, Dino. Let's get in here and change that mood around. Okay, now, number two. Bacon-scented wrapping paper. Hard in. However, what we've just experienced has tainted my opinion very Yeah, what hard. if it starts, like, now your whole Christmas, like, the, you like put all the gifts under the tree, and that room is just, you just walk in, and it's, like, bacon. Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> just, gonna piss, just, just leak no, it into there's that. There's no bacon in here? No, 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 You're just, just disappointing people constantly. You would probably ruin a lot of people's holidays. Now, I'm worried it's going to be, like, this ham, and so smell so realistic that it's going to be unenjoyable. Uh... <laughs> Get that one in five, six years, dude. Dogs, you know, talk about dogs eating your homework. Dogs will eat every ounce of your Christmas. Oh, my God, I never even thought of that. Yeah, that's a great thing for wrap dog gifts in. Let them open it up. <laughs> that better be edible, too. That better be edible wrapping paper. <laughs> Bro, you both said the exact same thing. What if it's some shitty-ass bacon? Hard pass. How come, Pete Torres? Can you explain? That's actually so... What scent would you want it to be? Dog's been to be pissed. Um... 
Hot chocolate. Okay, okay. Maybe like a nice like fire. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, people can think your house is on fire, but yeah. <laughs> pine yeah. trees. Yeah, pine trees would be good. Hot chocolate would be nice. I, I like all these ideas. I actually don't Ham. want... Ham? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no ham. Oatmeal cream pie. Hey, Blader Apple said, pie? Blader, I'm interested in apple Blader pie. Blader said peppermint. He's thinking right back to the candy cane. Peppermint. Double down on the peppermint. I love this oatmeal cream pie for some reason. <laughs> like a little Debbie. <laughs> Imagine just taking a bite out of some bacon paper dough. Yeah, cinnamon. cinnamon like the brooms. Whoa. I'm thinking, what about like a, what about like what's those, um, what do you make like Christmas morning when they, like the big uh, Cinnabon type thing? Ooh, Ooh yeah. yeah. Apple Cin- cider. Apple cider, Cinnabon. Those would actually smell gross. That's what that, that's literally what I'm thinking, Pete. I'm, I think I'm going to be disappointed with this. All right. Um, so I'm actually out on this one as well. All right. We got, we got one or two more. Toilet snake. Don't eh. like it. Don't right. like it. There it is. What about this, chat? Wrapping paper with your face on it. You guys in on this? Bro, I'm trying to be sponsored by little Debbie. <laughs> what are you about to put on 100 pounds? Quick, <laughs> dude. All right. So I actually love this idea. I do, too. I think it's wonderful. I think it, it, this could jazz up a pretty standard gift. Totally agree. You take a gift and it's pretty decent and then you slap your face on it. However, they could not pick the schmuckier fuck to put on this wrapping paper. God, he looks so stupid. I don't know why his face on the front of it. It's not even smiling. It's got like a sourpuss. He's trying to get like tough on He's trying to get tough on the gingerbread man. I don't know. <clears throat> in, in. I'm out on that. Oh, you're in on that. In on that. Oh, everybody's in on this. It's artificial bacon. That's actually true. Uh, my grandma used to melt cinnamon, red hots, and apple cider. Ooh. I had M&Ms with my face on it. That's true. I don't got to write who it's from. That's right. You just save yourself a ton of ink <laughs> and those little stickies that you got to put on there, dude. But uh, you got to write who it's to. <laughs> I was thinking as long as I can make the most absurd face. Havoc, I think you get to pick the face, homie. So I think you're in yeah, on that. Yeah, you upload the photo, I would assume. Why well, is there a light on the fridge? If we, That's true. That's true. You're in. Damn, you ruined your surprise. Ah, oh, damn. You about to give me one of these gifts? That's hilarious. All right. Uh, I'm in on this as well. All right, we got like one or two more. One last one. One last one. Uh, There's some other junky things we're going to scroll really past. Shitty. But a lot of shitty ones. The one Nick was big in on. I was big in on was this. This is a toothbrush that gets all your teeth at once. Can we scroll to that now? There's your boy. Basically a mouth guard. You put toothpaste in, and, and then, then it just shimmies around in your mouth yes uh so better yet just put my ass on it yeah that's a pretty good idea you like some nudie uh wrapping paper that'd be pretty dope your family's gonna love that <laughs> who's got their schlong on the uh <laughs> on the box full of underwear <laughs> who got pajamas this year with tavik's ass on them <laughs> they throw what throw away the pajamas keep the keep the wrapping paper whose baby dick is this <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Don't call that a baby dick. Okay, you guys in on the uh, in or out on the uh, toothbrush that's going to do all your teeth at once, dude? Huh? I am in reluctantly. I'm worried. And just like everything else in this damn society, that this is nothing but a gimmick. And I feel like if this was a really good idea, it would have been mastered by now, and I would have yeah, heard about it. Do you it. think like yeah, four out of five dentists approve this? Thing? I think it's probably much less than that. <laughs> I They're like, it's, you just, one, it's probably the one out of five that normally doesn't approve. Yeah, there's got to be the one guy. guy. Yeah, I think, I think he's peddling this. You're in on this, in on this. They actually have some stuff like this already. Is it good? Popper with the bitties. Is it good though? Does it work? It just seems like a th- idea like a child would have that just doesn't quite work. And it feels like it would be a mess too. I yeah. Like once you start like your toothpaste, like once you're getting that toothpaste, okay. I mean, what, <laughs> Can you do that again? <laughs> yeah. So like if you're really working that toothpaste, chat, right? Now, okay. okay, no, if you're really, if you're this and if you're really working that toothpaste, it gets like, you know, foamy and then you start to get like a lot more toothpaste. You you overload this mamma jamma, you're going to be like a dishwasher with like actual soap <laughs> just in there. Shooting you're just out of your nose, yeah, your just, toothpaste. Like, yeah, you're going to be like... <laughs> You're like a busy stripper. <laughs> Alex, you're brushing with both hands. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason they're not showing this in the guy's mouth. It's going to be like that little giant scene. Where yeah. Like intimidation. <laughs> 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 I was brushing my teeth, Chad. I God. swear, it's my toothbrush. Come on, dude. <clears throat> I can't hear Nick has been in there brushing his teeth for an hour. <laughs> Put a drill at the end of this thing, and you're going to lose all your teeth, Havoc, all right? <laughs> <laughs> you're brushing with both hands. That's really funny for some reason to me. All right, chat, I'm done being sus. I am in on this. I don't care if you guys like it or not. Uh, okay. 
Uh, final story before we head out of here? I think so. All right. This is just a touch up from last uh, last year. We did a... Uh, um, Oh, you know, is that what we're going to do? Yeah. Last year we did a story, and I actually kind of talked about it a little bit with you guys the other day. Uh, the world's most identical twins, or the most identical, even though me and Lamb like to argue about this, are trying to get pregnant at the same time with their shared fiance by scheduling ovulation and eating the exact same diet. They want the babies to be born the same time. They want them to look the same. They want to be impregnated at the same time. But, Lamb, can we scroll down and show what these girls look like? Also, outside of that, Lamb, you have a bigger issue First off, with where it says they're from and where they're actually from, and you also have a much bigger issue with their diets and things like that. Yeah, so they said they're from Australia. It looks like they're from New Jersey. <laughs> yes. Dude. Yeah. So apparently, I think it's Brisbane is where they're from. Uh, apparently, Brisbane is the New Jersey of Australia. Okay. <laughs> so That guy looks like a pimp. A hundred percent. This guy was on Paul, uh, like on Jersey Shore. Hundred percent. This guy is mad about everything all the time. It's he wants to fight constantly. Constantly. You looking at my girls? Yada yada yada. He's a big big pain in the ass. Then you got this picture right here. They don't even look that similar to me, but it is what it is. The other day, my wife passed me to pass asked me to pass her lipstick, but I accidentally passed her a glue stick. She still wasn't talking to me. Hey, hey. all right. So. They do everything together, and it creeps me out. It does creep Lamb out a lot. So they go to the toilet together. They measure their food to ensure they're eating the exact same amount. They dress alike, spend every minute together. They shower together. Shower together and share a fiancé. It's a lot for me, chat. It's a, it's, a, it's a lot for me to digest, but they are actively trying this year, this month, to get double pregnated by schmucky Jersey Shore guy. Uh... They extra extra together. Here's what I'm thinking though. They get let's say let's say all thing everything goes according to plan. They have two kids. The kids aren't one a girl, one a boy. The kids aren't going to look identical, right? No way, bro. Like they're siblings, right? But they're going to destroy the kids. They're going to make these kids dress the same and act the same. How are these kids related to each other? If they have the same dad and different moms, but the same genes, that is weird. It's more are they that. brother and sister? Or are I they think cousins? It's, it's are they stepbrothers? It's technically half brothers, but it feels a lot closer than that, don't you <laughs> yeah. think? Uh, well, uh, like I asked. Um, so my twin boys do this as well. Does that creep you out? Creep well uh, now. You can I, dress the same. You, you can, can act similar yeah, and stuff like that. I don't care about any of that. I'm saying. And as a kid, I think it's fine. They're grown adults that eat every single portion, the exact same portion, the same food. They shower together. These these women are like in their 30s. They don't have any independent personalities. Yeah, they're literally identical all the way through their life. Can you imagine splitting the portion? Yeah, yeah. your kids are kids. Kids are knuckleheads. They can do whatever they want. Uh, I don't know. That's what I'm saying, Alien. Exactly. I don't know. Are they they're saying, Are they fully related? I really don't know the answer to the question, dude. So I said, because my sister just got married, and the guy she's married, who's now my brother-in-law, mm -hmm. has a twin brother. Mm -hmm. Are we related in any way? Like, is there any term for that? I don't know. We should invent one. Yeah. <laughs> He's like my twin-in-law? Yeah, like? I like twin-in-law. Yeah. They'd be cousin siblings. I don't know. I think they're... It's, it's, well, if you have the same but, dad... But they have half. the same dad, if so they have to be half. It's at least half. Are they sure they remember from Alabama? I'm telling you, dude. I'm thinking they're Jersey Shore. I think Lamb's nailed this Jersey Shore <laughs> thing. Uh, I think it's half, dude. Twin-in-law. I like twin-in-law. Yeah, twin-in-law might stick. It's just, like, interesting because I was like, oh, I'm not really related to this person in any way, shape, or form. No. Nah, they siblings, dude. Half-siblings make sense. Yeah, half-siblings. I think they're half-siblings. Regardless, is there any other pictures of them? Uh, we got this one. I guess they have some sort of reality show. It looks like, oh, Perth. They're from Perth. So apparently Perth is the New Jersey of Australia. They both got fake boobies. I'm sure that maybe they could be the exactly identical. At the same right? doctor at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scroll down. Okay, so yeah, they definitely have a show. Yeah, they wanted to make sure they were ovulating together. So bizarre, dude. So bizarre. Uh, I had to share it with you guys. All right. Lamb, we got anything else? I would assume they sleep together. It looks like they share a bed. They share a bed. Yeah, it's so much for me, dude. It's not safe. So, it's not safe. It's an uncomfortable. It's an uncomfortable situation. All right, guys, this will be the last podcast before the holidays. Yeah, they have the, they have had to work. That's true. Uh, they can't be the exact same, but they are the most 
they most uh, identical in the world. They, that's what they, they put that in quotation, so maybe that's a claim they have. Had to have high, high hopes. I agreed. Uh, agreed, Panda. What's up? I'm saying they put <clears throat> most identical in quotes, so maybe it's something they termed or they deemed themselves. Maybe. Because they do everything together that they are the most identical. That's possible, but I also think that there is definitely something to, because I know that they said, like, who has, like, what celebrities have the most symmetrical face. I'm sure that they could, de- I'm sure that they could decide that, but I agree. Lamb has a problem with them even being called that because uh, he doesn't think they look super identical. That's what he's problem. That's what his bigger problem. He may be weird sometimes. Agreed. Imagine getting jealous. One's getting railed, and the other one ain't. Facts, dude. I bet that's a major problem. This guy's got a lot of work to do, dude. I'm saying, dude. He was. He is. This guy's busy all the time. That's. I'm 100 percent sure of that. However, the nice thing is, you can get an argument with your wife and leave the room, and she can argue with your other wife. That'd be kind of nice. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, you, just yeah. Figure it out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll be back. Yeah. So, um, this guy's probably getting teamed all the time. Like any argument, he's always wrong. Oh yeah. You. We're gonna vote yeah. on what we want to yeah. do. <laughs> He probably loses every, every every vote. We two to three, like damn, two to yeah, one. Two sorry, to one, every day, two to one. This sorry. guy losing every single argument. This poor guy. That's why he looks so pissed off all the time. <laughs> he probably is. He's probably at a restaurant he doesn't want to eat at. He's probably wearing a sweater he doesn't want to wear. He's driving a car he doesn't like. He's, he's got like, his chain necklace on that he doesn't like. He's all like, I just wanted this damn threesome, and now I'm stuck with it forever. Um, he needs a drink, dude. He definitely does. All right. Guys, I really hope you guys had a good time on the podcast. Me and Lamb absolutely love doing it. Uh, we are going to take off the rest of the month because Lamb will not be here. Um, when he does come back, we will have a hoorah show. We will get wild. Um, ham flavored everything. Ham flavored everything. No, we're going to have a lot of shows. If you guys have anything that you guys would love to tune in for, uh, love to talk about, excuse me, uh, and tune in and catch on the show, please let us know and we will, you know, Try and feature it. Um, uh, if you guys have any stories that you'd like to promote, uh, please let us know. Uh, other than that, um, I just want to say thank you guys so much, man. Uh, you guys have made this show specifically really exciting. You guys got us started with a level five hype train. It was very, very, very surreal to see that today. Um, gives me and Lamb a lot of motivation to keep going. Um uh, so I want to see you guys talk. Thank you, Panda. Toxic said good night, Nick. A hey, and Lamb. Thank you, Toxic. We love you, buddy. I'll be here for the military. Thanks. I appreciate that. You guys really did make today's uh, stream a lot of fun. I love you guys, man. Um, I'll be back streaming, but Lamb will not be here for another couple weeks. So as soon as he's back, we will get a kick-ass podcast going. For real, guys, we want you guys to be involved. So if you have something, send it to the Instagram. Send it to the TikTok. Yeah. Somebody sent me the Oreo. Oh, sp- speaking of, shout out Charlie. I don't think you watch yet, but. Uh, threw us the article on the Oreo one. Very, very cool. Uh, what's up, Superman? So if you guys have stories that you guys want features, something you want to talk about, please let us know. Uh, yes, we do need a Discord. We will work on it. Uh, we have only hit 88 followers, so we're still working. Uh, still, <laughs> a lot of things going on. A lot of things going on. We're a work in progress. We got to get, uh, we got to get emotes in here. Uh, we got to get, uh, um... Uh, some 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 doodads and sound effects that come up when you guys do things. We got some stuff we got to work on, but uh, right now putting in time to make the show what it is is most of our time. So hope you guys had a good time. Uh, appreciate that rare. Uh, appreciate. Hope you guys had a really great day today. Enjoyed everything. We will be back uh, in a few weeks. Let's go ahead and raid out of here. We don't have anybody on that we like um, or even knows who we are. Um. I don't know, Lamb. What do you think? Da, 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 da. Yeah, I know. It's tough. Bye, P. Torres. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you guys so much for the love today. Do a rando. All right, well, yeah, we're gonna, we can do that. Uh, just chat. We got a podcast? Actually, yeah, let's go to the podcast one. Yeah, we'll go to a podcast one. We'll see if we can get you guys a podcast person. Uh, stay with us for five seconds while we find somebody, and then we will uh, let you guys out of here. Let's see here. Dun, 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 dun. There is the podcast one. Uh, you're going to go through all day. There it is. Oh. All right. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Hmm. Riffing the X Files. Okay, that's kind of close to our show. It's kind of funny. Um, derailed faces of Twitch episode four. They're just getting started. Um, this week in tech, TV, um, mix and mingle. 
threat level. Okay, we have 300 people. They ain't going to even notice us. Huh? No, this week, Thirsty Thursday. This week in Tech Sound Fun, the Grass Factor. What are they into? Outdoors? That's what they're talking about? Oh, these guys are talking about like cutting grass or something? <laughs> Is that what's happening here? Turf grass professional. Oh, for, for focus on residential lawn care. Bro, these people literally do a podcast <laughs> about lawn care, dog. I literally cannot do that to you guys. I literally cannot do that to you guys. Fuck it. I want to Twitch Prime, but don't know how. Uh, you have to literally, Panda, connect your Amazon Prime account to Twitch, and then it will enable you. Then it will enable you. What was that up there? It was top right. What was that one guy said? Recently, insights into tomorrow. Eh? Previously recorded. Oh, what a bunch of schmucks. What are they doing? That's lame as hell. I didn't even know you could do that. I didn't know you could do that either. Blood and popcorn. Oh, oh what is? what are we looking at here? We are. The Game Awards? Oh, these are young kids. Oh, man. Nintendo Dads. Itty bitty nerdy community. Those kids might like it, though. Go back up. This is Young Game Awards? What is this? I don't know why. I like these kids. Last one was a practice round. This is their real deal, dude. All right. Let's see what they're rocking with. 18 followers, dude. Hey, let's drop them in. Let's do it. Um, they have no idea what's happening. I don't even care what they're doing. Uh, thanks for the raid before Nick made my week. Hey, I'm glad, man. You were uh, you were already sitting at four or five people before I came in here. I was really excited to see that, to be honest with you, man. I love to see anybody on my channel do well. So it was really cool to see you guys doing well. Havoc, man, same thing, man. How were the candy canes? Uh, the ham and mac and cheese one were so gross, dude. I'm still like kind of scarred from the ham one, bro. You got to try the ham one, dude. Yeah, totally worth your day. Definitely worth your time. All right, guys. Uh, if anybody actually uh, stick with us and transfers over for this raid, please at least do me a favor. Just let them know what kind of podcast we do. That would be nice. Or Lamb can text them over here. But uh, just come in there and spam the shit out of them uh, and just you know make their day. Hopefully make it a little better. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday if we don't see you. Uh, and thank you guys so much for being here this whole damn stream. You guys are freaking great today, man. Love it. Love it, guys. I will see you guys. We will. The podcast will be back in a few weeks. Hope you guys are there. Love you guys. Shit, thank you for the raid. Awesome. We appreciate it. Um, we're just going over the game awards right now. And we're arguing over best esports game and how it should not have gone to League of Legends. God damn it. There you go, dude. Get into it. Sounds riveting. No, you and you versus me and we're uh, versus I, Listen, I it understand. Neither con. No, you get it. Yeah. <laughs> con, Whatever it said. You <laughs> agree with. I get that Valorant's a fantastic game and so is CSGO. I don't remember ever seeing CSGO on Twitch in 2021. I don't remember seeing CSGO once on Twitch in 2021. That wasn't even a no.